Hi, I'm Helen from Team Alicia. You may know me from the first episode of this My Ocean Challenge video series. We went diving together in the beautiful waters of Guadeloupe and learned a lot on coral reefs. Well, today I'm in Brazil and I want to talk to you about another amazing ecosystem that needs to be protected, the rainforest. Maybe you have heard of the Amazon rainforest, the greatest rainforest on our planet. Well, today I'm in the Rio Doce Valley, where the other Brazil rainforest once was. Its name is the Atlantic Forest. It used to stretch along most of Brazil's eastern coastline, where our Malitza Sea Explorer race yacht will soon sail along in the ocean race. The Atlantic Forest was a sanctuary to wildlife and plants and a vital resource for local people. But just like the Amazon rainforest, the Atlantic Forest has been destroyed by humans for hundreds of years and has almost vanished. This has big consequences. Just like the ocean, forests are the lungs of our planet. Like the ocean, they produce the air we breathe. They capture carbon dioxide, CO2, the invisible gas that we humans produce in huge quantities and otherwise contributes to climate change. They are also home to most of Earth's terrestrial biodiversity. Biodiversity is a mix of life that exists within an ecosystem. It includes animals, insects, plants and even bacteria and fungi. Every organism in this ecosystem plays its part. Trees rely on birds eating and digesting their fruit to spread their seeds. Bacteria in the soil break down dead plant and animal matter. And the extracted nutrients feed the other plants. If one organism is lost, the whole ecosystem becomes more vulnerable to difficult challenges like climate change. Having a thriving ecosystem and a healthy forest is therefore vital to life on our planet. After all the destruction that took place in the Atlantic forest, only about 12% of the original forest has survived. The Atlantic forest, like many others, must be protected. How do you save a forest? One main solution is what we call reforestation. It is the process of planting trees to restore an existing forest that has been destroyed by human activities. Sebastião Salgado, a very famous Brazilian photographer, and his wife Lelia have created such a project to restore a part of the Atlantic forest. I am currently at the Instituto Terra, which they created and where trees are being planted in order to restore the rainforest and bring back a thriving ecosystem. However, to make sure the restored forest will be healthy and capture CO2 from the atmosphere for years to come, it is not as easy as just planting a few trees in the soil. A healthy forest is made of many different native tree species and lots of organisms. The people here at the Instituto Terra are very careful in planting a variety of local types of trees. They also engage the local population so that they can all look after the forest. They are also careful to do it in the place where it was natural to have a forest in the past. And finally, they protect what is still left of the original forest. To restore the area, the employees of the Instituto Terra sort through thousands of collected plant seeds in a laboratory, storing them in jars. These seeds then go to a nursery, where they are looked after and grow into seedlings. After growing in a protected environment, the seedlings go through a hardening phase and are then ready to be planted. More than 2.5 million seedlings have been planted here over the past 20 years. Now, the aim is to improve the restored forest by continuing to improve the ecosystem and by introducing a new generation of trees. In this area of the Atlantic forest, more than 250 native species of animals, including hummingbirds, parrots, lizards, and eaters have returned. Even the puma can be found here. Did you know Team Alicia also has such a project? It is not about the rainforest, but about restoring another ecosystem, mangroves. It is called the Malitia Mangrove Park and is located in the Philippines. Mangroves are very important to save too, because like the ocean and the rainforest, they are champions in capturing CO2. They also protect the coastline from erosion and coral reefs and are an important source for local populations. 
Are you curious to learn more about mangroves? Great, because we will tell you all about them in an upcoming episode. In the meantime, why don't you learn something about a forest near you? How is its ecosystem? Is it healthy? See you soon! <laughs>